Hey, welcome inside Zippity's Garage. In today's episode, we're taking the C5 on a road trip down to Annapolis, Maryland. So stick around. Hey, thanks for pushing play, folks. Like I said in that quick introduction, we're going to jump in the 04Z06 here and take a ride down to Annapolis, Maryland to the Carriages on West Car Show. And this is hosted by Corvette in Annapolis, the Annapolis Corvette Club. And it is a charity fundraising car show, strictly Corvettes. And they shut down um, West Street, which is just outside of the Naval Academy, probably about three or four blocks off the waterfront. And it's a pre-registration only car show. So they have about 70 Corvettes that show up. And the really cool thing is, is they, try, they park them by generation. So you have the C1s together, all the C2s and so forth, all the way up through C8s. And in the video, we're actually going to capture a couple of the special edition Corvettes, like the 40th anniversary, the 50th anniversary, 60th anniversary, as well as a 70th anniversary car. And then also take a little closer look at some of the other special editions, like my commemorative edition, and then there was also a collector's edition and a 96 Grand Sport. So without further ado, let's get down to Annapolis. Zippity's Garage out on location. Like I said in that quick introduction, we are down on West Street in Annapolis, Maryland today for the Corvettes of Annapolis Corvette Show, and it's called Carriages on West. And what they do is they close off West Street. Oh, look at a Ferrari driving by. Pretty cool. So we are in, right in Annapolis, not far from the Naval Academy. And the cool thing about this weekend is it's um, parents weekend. So a lot of the plebes are out running around with their parents this weekend. And this is all part of that weekend is the Corvette show. So I'm going to try and capture as much of this as I can. But we're starting off with a bang with a 59 Corvette uh, on display. And the way they set these up is it's all pre-registered the show sells out they can only take about 70 cars um, and here's a 54 in pennant blue which you don't see this color very often so i'm going to drop some pictures uh, this is the you know the six cylinder corvette guys so there's your six cylinder corvette you don't see those too often so like i said they set these up 62 corvette you can tell it's a 62 because of the side gills the only one with this with these uh fins that you see here but black on black, really nice looking car. But as I kept trying to say, is they set these up by generation. So you're gonna start with the C1s, then we're gonna move into the C2s, and then they have the C3s, 4s, and 5s set up in a little parking lot off of West Street, and then it rolls into the 6s, 7s, and 8s. So we got a side pipe car, 67, with the 435, uh, 427 you can see it's got the triangle air cleaner underneath that's your dead giveaway that it, you're looking at a big block car so really nice with the stinger stripe another c2 not sure the year on this one this is a 64 really really nice and for those that don't know you can see this little cover on the air cleaner the reason they do that in this bright sun you can see it shining off the chrome here there have been times where it will melt a hole in the hood because of the sun bouncing off of that chrome. So a lot of owners will put covers on there as well to prevent that from happening. So here we move into one of the C3s, but you said the majority of the C3s are back over in the side parking lot, which we'll capture. But silver with red, beautiful side pipes, not a lot of luggage room in these suckers, guys. Your luggage space is right there. <laughs> See a duffel bag and a towel, that's about it. Not much in there. Moving into some of the C6s. Like I said, I'll go into the parking lot and cover the 3s, 4s, and 5s. So this is an 06 with the LS2 motor, black on black convertible. Really nice. Here's a color you don't see too often, the Carlisle Blue. Buddy of mine's got one of these. Really nice color combination with the uh, two-tone interior as well. Uh, guy gets free admission into Corvettes at Carlisle every year with the Carlisle Blue. Or a pace car edition. A lot of engine dress up on this particular car. So this is from 2008 from the Indianapolis pace car. Cool vehicle. Grand Sport. Silver Grand Sport here. Another Carlisle Blue. You don't see. You can go. You can go to a couple different car shows and never see 
a single Carlisle blue, but yet here we got two of them here today. Bright yellow, lots of engine dress up on this. Looks really nice. Another red, blue. Grand Sport with all kinds of dress up plus a mini me. <laughs> so, and there's one on the inside too, excuse me. All right, let me check. Oh, there's, there's another mini me inside of this Grand Sport. Pretty cool. All the fun things that guys do part of their setup. So we got a 13 Arctic White. And we're moving into some of the C7s. Pretty grand sport. The light colored interior. Here's the uh, dark blue with the red interior. Kind of looks like, you know, it's called the Heritage Package, kind of paying homage to the 96 Grand Sport with the blue with the white stripe and red hash marks. And funny, I should mention the 96 Grand Sport. There is a Grand Sport here, 96 Grand Sport with red guts. Uh, so this one's also got the red interior. Really nice layout, paying homage to that 96. Speaking of that 96, it's right here. So pretty, pretty cool car. So as the story goes on these cars, these were actually, and I don't know if it's an urban legend, but I heard it from a pretty reliable source. These cars were painted white and then the blue was added secondary. I don't know if that's true or not. Let me know in the comments section below if you call BS on that uh, comment or not. But 1996, as we said, hard top, red interior. All of them were manual transmissions with the LT4 motor. And just a really, really good looking car. These things really are holding their value. You can see how wider they are. They had this extra flare put on it to cover the rear wheel. And then we've got a couple other C4s. Beautiful white custom with a with a uh, big old supercharger on it. So this thing's got to move, let me tell you. Here's another unique color. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's Steel City Gray or Steel City Blue. Yeah, Steel Blue. It's actually what it's referred to as a 1990. Very unique color. Uh, a friend of mine has one of these. I believe he calls it Grace as far as the name of his car. Uh, then you've got a 40th anniversary, done up in the ruby red. Beautiful, um, you know, burgundy in, uh, roof, as well as the interior is concerned. Real nice example of the 40th anniversary with the saw blade wheels and that center cap as well. And then we have the collector's edition. So this was done up in 96. You can see it says collector's edition on the side. And this particular car was available in 1996 silver you can get it with two different interiors, the black or the red, similar to the Grand Sport. But this is another special edition from 1996. This particular one's an automatic, so it has the standard motor. It was available with the LT4, the same motor that's in that 96 Grand Sport, but it would need to be a manual transmission because that LT4 was only mated to a manual transmission. So moving into the C5s, we saw the... 40th anniversary here's a 50th anniversary coupe done up in what's called anniversary red with the shale interior again these were all pretty much optioned out the same way your transmission was a uh, option this one's the manual but they all came with the anniversary gold wheel and the 50th anniversary insignia and unique to the 2003s all 2003s had this silver C5 logo on it that had the 50 in it, uh, not just the 50th anniversary cars. So here's an early C5, 98. You can tell it's an early C5 because it's got the dual fuel lines coming off of it. So this is a nice uh, red car with a lot of engine dress up on it. Chrome C6 wheel with the tan interior, beige interior seats look really nice. And then look at this. I recognize this car. Zippity's Garage. We really haven't done an expose on what I've done to the car, but we'll come back and cover that at another time. But here's my car on display. Talk about our custom interior. And then here's a picture from 2014 when we had a bunch of these commemorative editions on display. So that's my car. We'll come back a little bit later and capture some of that. And then parked next to me is a 99. And yep, this is the light pewter as far as the color goes. 
a little bit of engine dress up on it as well convertible black interior and he's got a c6 shifter in it pretty cool so spin back around where like i said we're in a little parking lot off of west and we've got shade over here which is really nice so some of the c3s and the reason i'm doing this now is it's earlier in the day it's probably 9 30 so it's about 10 o'clock now so as all the spectators start to show up i want to try and capture as much as i can 71 convertible done up really nice custom wide body on the thing you can see the rear of this thing the big old spoiler coming off the back is this yours yeah it's beautiful man here's the proud owner don uh, what what's the name of the is there a name to the different kit per se or is it can-am kit okay looks really really good makes it really nice and aggressive thanks for bringing it out and then we got another c3 next to it um notch back window on it it's got the rubber bumper another c3 here so there's four c3s one two three four five c4s and there's one two three four four of the c5s here today so obviously the c7s and c8s are the big uh big show participants at this particular event and you can see i'm gonna step back out a little bit this is where the c7s start it goes all the way down the street but here's the king of the hill when it comes to keep corvettes at least until the Zeo's new C8 Z06 is released. And even then, you can make an argument for this as still being the king of the hill. 2019 ZR1 done up in Arctic white, competition seats, 8-speed uh, automatic transmission, ZDK, uh, spoiler on the back. Beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. Then you've got a red coupe sitting here, uh, competition seats on this one. And we're getting a little bit closer to the disc jockey. So I'll continue to give you some commentary on the cars so that we don't get hit too much with the uh, DJ music and so forth. Michael, how are you, sir? Mr. Corvette Furman over there. We're going to cover his car here in a minute because he is parked out here with his new C8. Beautiful black Z06. Just uh, nothing wrong with a simply, sim the details on the simplicity of a black Corvette. Very sinister. Red convertible. Here's an orange convertible color you don't see too often on the c7 you've seen it a lot more now on the uh, c8 but this is the sebring orange which does have the metallic in it whereas the amplify orange on the new c8 is not a metallic finish looks really nice turn around a blue yep that's what i thought license plate on this is blue ray so it's a stingray and it's a lot of blue so he's got body color spoiler side skirts fender flares and under the hood as well lots of blue admiral blue on this 2016. here we've got one of the grays watkins glen gray with a nice red accents competition seat and again a double spoiler on the back of this particular car nice dress up underneath it says i serve so thank you for your service <laughs> this car's got to be a hit with the kids uh, and maybe even the adults alike. So we got a lot of minions on this bright yellow Corvette. I believe this is the uh, Corvette Racing Yellow, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which was the color for the C7 generation. You know, again, it's very subjective when you talk colors, but I think um, versus the C8 Yellow with that Accelerate, it's got a lot more green in it. This is much more of a truer yellow. Torch Red. Chrome wheel, really nice Stingray, very clean. The cleanliness of these cars is unbelievable. So we've got another, hard to tell, is this maybe Night Race Blue? Uh, looking at it in the color, yep, Night Race Blue with Kalahari. So kind of back out, get that in the sun, and you can see the metallic and the shine of the Night Race Blue. Really a good looking car. Good morning, folks. You finished cleaning? You can tell it's gorgeous. So, so we got the caravan sticker on there. We got the new caravan stickers available here today, but we're going to see these guys on the 2024 caravan as well. So their collector's edition is absolutely gorgeous. Love the gray with the tension blue. And this has got the competition seat. And there's a, they spent a good 45 minutes to an hour cleaning this sucker up when they got here this morning. And it shows. It is gorgeous. And the C7s 
competition here at the show is going to be pretty wild because you've got the green envy here so 2014 was the only year they offered the green color so people are saying they want a green and i don't think folks are screaming for this hunter green or british racing green they want the more bright in your face green dave and mary beth from my corvette club and they're red corvette so i'm gonna walk around their car real quick but you can see member of the corvette museum member of my club the original garden state corvette club and this was bought at kerbeck which is now sioka but this is the long beach red manual coupe again really nice done up with the stage two side splitter and um, that's something i'm looking to add to mine and here's a red grand sport two-tone red interior in this one Nice engine dress up here. And you can see the uh, folks are coming out. The spectators are really starting to show up now. So here we got a black rose trying to work in between all the spectators. This seems to be the angle to get the good color with the sun right now. But you can see the black rose metallic. Really a nice looking car. I really like this color. And it's done up with the gr uh, gray interior. So it really sets off well with that black rose. Spin back around, another yellow from 2016. Got the Stingray stripe on the center. Look at this, another black rose. So these are somewhat unique colors and they weren't huge in the uh, uh, in new car sales, but in the aftermarket or secondary market, they're pretty sought after. And I got sidetracked because I heard a drone flying. I didn't bring my drone for fear of, uh, we're, like I said, we're within walking distance of the naval base. Wasn't sure how the Navy would feel about me flying my drone out here, so I decided not to bring it. But uh, that's, brave gentleman is flying his. So we have another night race blue. My goodness, I'm blown away with all the unique colors that are here. This is done up in the Z06 with the Kalahari interior. Nice, nice combination. And he's got a serious setup as well. Red C7. Another yellow C7, all buttoned up. 19Z06, I know the owner of this particular car. Nice gentleman, and he works with the Stanley Cup champions from 2018. I have an issue with this, because you know, if you know, follow my channel, you know I'm a diehard Pittsburgh guy. So, uh, Sidney Crosby might have something to say about that. But uh, I can uh, respect the, what it takes to win that Stanley Cup, that's for sure. And then we got the C8s we're starting here. I uh, aforementioned Mike Furman. There's his license plate, vet seller. You can see the 70th anniversary insignia here. And this is that white pearl paint that's new for 2023. But you can see how that captures in the sun and then the specific wheel for the 70th. Now, Mike ordered his car striped delete, so there's no stripe on the hood. And here's some of the memorabilia on Mike's career. He sold over 5,000 Corvettes. Uh, over his illustrious career, working towards 6,000. The interior is unique in the competition seat, and what that does is changes the color combination with, on the normal seat, GT2 seat, the black would be on the outside, and white would be down the center. On the competition seat, it flips it. You have the white on the bolsters and the black down the center, and it's not leather um, on the bolsters. The bolsters is not a, a leather material. And then you've got your carbon flash nacelles, ordered his with no wing really a nice looking build so congratulations to mr Furman on that car spin around we've got a red c8 again looks very i like it without the wing let me know your comments below i know everybody seems to be separated or you know i don't say disagrees on the wing but that's why they have three or four different options you got no wing you've got the low profile and then you've got the low z51 wing which is on this car and then you've got the high wing. So we've got two Elkhart Lake blue cars here with silver stripes, kind of parked next to each other. Different wheel. Really, it's a tension blue interior in this one. We'll spin back around. This has got this cool sky gray with the GT1 seat. A little different look on the interior. Here's that Accelerate yellow that I was chatting about earlier. You know, a little bit more green in this color as opposed to the Corvette racing yellow of the C7 generation. And you can see it's hard top convertible. Pretty cool setup for those non-car people. You can see that how the hard top mechanism works here. Pretty, pretty cool. So we got some of the Naval Academy folks walking around. Uh, I'm happy to say my nephew 
and my sister and brother-in-law are down here this weekend because my nephew is serving. So thank you to Mr. Jack Tarzi. Hopefully I'll be able to capture some pictures with him uh, if he can get away this morning uh, over here next to my car. So we got a blue 21, black and red interior in this one. And we're gonna swing back out. We got a Arctic white convertible with red interior. I mentioned the different wings. This is the high wing on the Z51 done up in carbon flash. So I think it's the only high wing car that's here today, at least that I've seen so far. Carbon flash nacelles, red interior. Love what, you know, the personalization of what people are starting to do. So you got the black OEM Trident wheel, but then you've got a custom chrome spoke wheel here. Back out, we've got a ceramic matrix gray. This looks really cool with the blue and silver hash mark. Can't say I've seen that done before. So it's a 2020. And again, the wheels kind of offset off of the stinger stripe. And this has got the two-tone Cool Sky Gray interior. Really nice looking. And a lot of engine dress up here. And he's got a nice little cover that covers up the trunk as well for the car show. And then we've got a couple more C8s rounding out here. We've got the Red Mist Metallic. Another uh, silver, so this is silver flare with the red hash, black stripes on it. Elkhart Lake Blue. This is gray, this is my shadow gray, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Same color as my 2019. Again, not a popular color in 2019. I believe it was a late edition because it didn't even make it into the new car brochure. And then here we've got a Zeus bronze. So this was only, I think in 20 and maybe 21. So it was either a one or a two year color before they replaced it with the caffeine metallic that you see now. Uh, but again, in the sun, this thing really looks great. Hopefully you can get that reflection there. And again, it looks great with a natural dipped interior. Zeus bronze is the color. Yeah, you're fine. Camaro driving by up there. Another red mist metallic, natural interior. Black C8 custom wheel. So that's kind of a walk of the show. So as promised, a little bit more in-depth coverage here out at the Annapolis Car Show. And if you follow me over on Instagram, if let me say this again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go over and follow me there because I posted a bunch of these pictures in real time. So at this show today, we have four different anniversary cars. So we have this one here, which is the 40th anniversary car, which is called Ruby Red. And the Ruby Red, this one is a convertible. So you've got the you know center cap here on the saw blade wheels the side emblem and then through the interior again it's ruby red as well so you've got this dark burgundy red interior with the 40th logo in the headrest and then on the convertible the same color top as well when you come back around you can see it's got the chrome emblem on it and it has like the the zr1 type rear with the more squared off headlights and the rounded back as opposed to the notch back that you see here on a regular C4. So pretty cool to see the 40th anniversary. And then parked two cars down, happens to be a similar colored car, but this is the 50th anniversary. So 2003 was the 50th anniversary of this, of the Corvette. You can see it's got the gold wheel on it. And this is a pretty um, factory close spec. There's not a lot of modifications done to this. But you can see on the rear, it's got the 50th emblem. They've added the 50th cargo cover, which is really nice. And hopefully in the sun, this sparkle is coming through the metallic in this anniversary red. Beautiful, beautiful color. And then inside, they were all done up as a shale interior. And you can see here, 
This has got the 50th logo on the headrest. So a nice representation, and this one has the glass roof. You could also get it with the body color roof so that that body color carries through across the top. And then heads up display, but they've added some engine art underneath. Nothing wrong with some colored fuel rail covers, look great. And then they have the 50th cross flag underneath for a hood liner. So really nice representation of the 2003 with its the 50th anniversary. So as promised, here is that 60th anniversary done up in white with the silver or gray stripe, which is carried throughout the entire car. So it's Arctic white and this particular one, you know, like I said, it's 2013 celebrating it the 60th anniversary. This one's a Grand Sport, so it has the LS3 motor and it has the dark blue convertible top and the 60th is embossed on the headrest. And then this is the upgraded interior with the dark, call it twilight blue. And you can see it's carried through. There's a 60th anniversary on the steering wheel, manual transmission car. And then as you pan back out, you can see the 60th anniversary on the wheels. And being that this is the Grand Sport, it does have the wide body on it, the fender flares. And you can see the anniversary tag on this particular Corvette. But you can see the 60th year here on the Corvette emblem. So this is celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Chevrolet Corvette. Arctic white with the silver stripe that runs down the entire length of the car. And you can see even on the roof, it's a two-tone fabric. So you got a little bit darker blue and lighter blue here, carrying that stripe all the way across the entire vehicle. And you could get this package, the paint package on the Grand Sport, Z06 and the ZR1 of the day from 2013. And I have a friend who lives down in Mississippi, they relocated from New Jersey. They have a ZR1 done up in this anniversary package. So shout out to Jeff and Amanda and their beautiful 2013 ZR1 anniversary. So we're gonna take a walk further up the street and go find that 70th anniversary. You can see the 70th anniversary insignia here. And this is that white pearl paint that's new for 2023. But you can see how that captures in the sun and then the specific wheel for the 70th. Now, Mike ordered his car striped Elite, so there's no stripe on the hood. And here's some of the memorabilia on Mike's career. He sold over 5,000 Corvettes uh, over his illustrious career, working towards 6,000. The interior is unique in the competition seat. And what that does is changes the color combination with on the normal seat, GT2 seat, the black would be on the outside and white would be down the center. On the competition seat, it flips it. You have the white on the bolsters and the black down the center. And it's not leather um, on the bolsters. The bolsters is not a, a leather material. And then you've got your carbon flash nacelles. Ordered his with no wing. Really a nice looking build. So now the mass chaos begins. The uh, car shows come to an end here at uh, Corvettes of Annapolis. Uh, the carriage is on West, I guess is the official name of the show. So got to get that right. But thank you to uh, Annapolis Corvettes for hosting this and to the city of Annapolis for allowing them to do so. Um, they mentioned at the trophy ceremony that they raised $3,500 for their local charity. So it's great that this venue and this show is giving back to the local community. It was a children's charity. Um, it was called the ARC. So uh, really, really nice that they're able to give back to the local community here and that the car hobby is out here supporting it as well. So with that said, Zippity's Garage signing off from Annapolis. So we'll see you out in Corvettes at Carlisle in two weeks. So if you're there, please stop by and see me. I'm going to be parked near the 63 to 67 Grand Sport Registry, which is right at the end of the 1996 Grand Sport display. And wonder if this Grand Sport will be out on display. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks to Corvettes of Annapolis for hosting. And we'll see you in a couple weeks.